Hello, Ina. First of all, thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts for giving us this interview. We know you are in the middle of the race week, that you are focusing into that, and that also you are dealing with the visa papers and all that. So giving us this interview, it's uh, something really big for us. And I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. And the first question I have for you is, do you consider that the W Series could help women to reach the maximum goal of being F1 drivers? Uh, first of all, W Series is going to improve the number of girls in the racing. So, because little girls will look on us, so we will have the motivation to go to the karting sessions, uh, centers, so start to driving. So, yeah, and it means that soon there will be more chance, um, as there will be more girls, there will be more chance that some of them will racing in stronger series. Hi, Irina, and thank you for answering uh, our uh, questions. Uh, first of all, I would like to know how you started in this uh, sport and if they, there were somebody in your family that inspires you. No one in my family is a racer or is interested in motorsport, really no one. So I was the first one, um, it was in 2009, uh, me and my family went to the cinema to watch the cartoon cars, you know, with Lady McQueen. And after these scenes, I said to my dad that I want to be the racing driver like the Lightning McQueen. So yeah, and I'm so happy that my family was brave enough to support my dream. Okay, I have two girls. So uh, what advice do you give uh, to all the girls or women that want to become a driver? So if we're speaking about just road driving, I would like to say like just go and do it but if we're speaking about the racing um, I think the most important part is if you love if you really love racing so um, you need to focus on it so you need to to go and do it and you need to be ready that it's gonna be difficult and hard but you need to focus on it so don't be afraid and just go and do it and spend all your power on it and how do you feel about not being able to close the season in Mexico? I'm so disappointed about Mexico because I really would like to race in Mexico as I have a lot of fans and followers from Mexico, I think more than thousands. So yeah, uh, I'm so, so sad about this. And I hope to join Mexico for next year because uh, Mexican fans will support me a lot and it will give for me like plus 1000 for speed. Uh, how do you train beyond the point of driving the car, your skills to become a better driver? So now I am training six, sometimes seven days on the week. So four times is the gym sessions and the three times is the sim sessions. So to learn the tracks and when when I'm having the chance to drive the real car from my development program SMP Racing, I'm so happy and I'm trying to find best of it because, as you know, to drive the Formula car is really expensive and you need to focus on every minute. So, what is the budget you need to be able to race in the W Series? So, if you are the racer of W Series, you don't need to pay for anything because W Series is paying for you like from door to door, so that's really amazing. And at the end of the season, the total price of money is one with half million dollars. So, but if we are talking um, before the W Series, um, it's gonna be quite different because different series, it will depend on which series you will take part. But okay, let's say that in the karting junior championship, you're gonna to spend tens thousands of dollars and in Formula 4 it's gonna be like hundreds thousands of dollars. Another thing I wanted to ask you is how do you feel uh, about the atmosphere in the W Series? Well I'm asking you that because we have to consider that a lot of times women are more competitive than men. I'm so so happy about the atmosphere in W Series so because the collective is so so friendly and I can say that I really can ask everything about the new track, about the new car for me, the Formula 3 car, so for any girls and they will answer me, they will help me with the car, with the tracks, 
will with how to be faster and that's really amazing so i'm so so happy about this and i'm so so happy to be a part of this friendly collective w series as we all know in w series all the cars are almost the same which make the difference between drivers all my racing experience comes from the series where is the all cars are the same so honestly i don't know other situations so i can say what is the difference between Aida Sidorkova and the other drivers? Um, I would like to say that every driver is unique, So, but if we are talking about just me, I think I'm Russian, I'm young and I'm quite small, so the small body is really good in motorsport, but in another way I'm not not experience it enough so but I think if I will continue in my good good way so and I can have a really good career with help of W series and SMP racing. All right and uh, the last question I have for you is why do you choose uh, 51 as your racing number? So my racing number was five when I was racing in Russia so in the touring car championship junior championship so but when when i came to w series the far five was busy because it's quite <laughs> quite popular number and i choose uh, the 51 because it was similar to my initials like ira sidorkova so 51 uh yeah and where was the chance to to take the 15 as well but i as you know the 15 is more popular than 51 so where is going to be the more chance the 15 going to be busy so it is the reason why i choose 51 and all my all my followers like the 51 and as you know the 51 is number of hats and hornet from the cars how do you think you could uh, inspire girls into uh, race driving i'm young but i drive racing fast cars on the best tracks of the world so i'm traveling around the world i'm quite well known <laughs> so i have a lot of friends from every part of the world girls and boys who support me like the strong competitor in the racing isn't isn't the reason to join racing Irina, I would like to thank you once again for giving us the chance to have this conversation with you and learn more about you. I'm pretty sure all the Mexican fans are going to be super happy. And right here at the bottom of the screen, I'm going to leave your social network so people can follow you. Uh, we're going to be following your career very close. And I hope uh, pretty soon there is, a, there is a way to meet you in person and uh, maybe see you live on track. Maybe next year in Mexico, we don't know. But thank you so much. Have a beautiful, beautiful rest of the season.